Welcome, in this video I will talk about IT advisory video on section Outlook emails. Now just to remind our members, IT advisory video in this course is specifically designed for premium members. Because they have access to so many labs and so many courses from our partners, then it is our job to combine the skills and take out the best information so then it can relate to the section that you are basically finishing in this course, which is the helpless course. Now in this section we're talking about Outlook. In reality, you're not going to be only fixing Outlook. So fixing is one of the top things, yes you will do that, but there are many other things that you need to do with Outlook and Office. You may need to repair the whole office for for you to fix the Outlook issue. Maybe the one that you saw in this video, which is a pretty good video, a lot of people liked it. Then there's another video too from us, how to fix Outlook issue. And this is also another video that people really like it. But this is not it for many people. So this is where, what, what can we recommend you because since you have such a access to so many labs. Now, this is where we really help you. This lab is designed for Excel 2016 and this lab is designed for Word 2016. Now this is for people who would like to learn about Office and Excel. Now in your case as a help desk, you're not going to be learning extensively on these applications. Now this is your choice, you can, which is going to help you anyways. But when you become a help desk or an IT person, you're not specifically spending so much time to learn these applications. This is the user who is going to be doing so much on Excel and Word and things like that. They may come across issues and they may call you on an issue where if you can just, if you know only this video, then I think it will not be fair to tell the members that yes, you're going to come across some other things too. It is not going to be just you deleting a folder and it will fix the outlook. Yes, that will fix some error type of issues but it's not going to fix things like that you should know like archiving now user may also know but most of the user may be a little scared to archive their emails now this is where you need to help them and this is where you need to know a little bit more than just troubleshooting so what can you do with these labs since we already know that if they're teaching about word 2016 this gives you a little bit thinking that oh, okay they may also have Outlook 2016 on these labs so this is a cool lab for you to get in and then actually start troubleshooting and start learning about Outlook now if you ask me how do I learn more about Outlook what do I do since I have premium membership now remember when premium membership you get access to all these labs and everything and physical access to these servers and desktops and everything right but you also get partners content which is 200 plus courses now this is where you can really really cash in on these type of access now here I'm going to show you if you just search about outlook in this access you can see you have 2007 10 13 and then 16 outlook to learn now my recommendation for you is that yes, you don't have to spend the whole time on learning 2016 Outlook, but it is very, very effective, I'm telling you. Because when you start this course, I'm going to show you something in advance. If you go all the way down over here and then click on this one, this session is about what? Managing Outlook data files. Now this is exactly, you're going to be getting calls from the members or your staff or clients can I? Can you tell me how to archive my email? Can, I, can you tell me how to back up my Outlook items? Creating a data files, data files settings. You know, all of these things you are gonna come across at some point. So this is where I recommend you to use both, you know, the labs right here, which is a physical access. You can get in there, learn something from this, and then come and apply it over here. And if you have your own account with Office 365, you can actually use it. You can actually click on next and then click yes and then put the same email and password and you will get connected. 
Now this in this e in this lab it's not going to be there after that 60 minutes. So if you're worried about your own account, you can use other accounts too. So make sure if this is going down to like one minute, you just click on it, it'll go back to 60 minutes. But once you're done with the whole lab and it gets restarted or it's logged out or the time is up, then every all of this data will go away. So don't worry about it that it's going to stay there or anything like that. You can really, really mess around with this Outlook. You can go to the files right here. Basically, this is a Windows 10, so it's a pretty a good skills because it's a new operating system and this is what people are going to be using you can go to Windows 10 and go to this control panel and actually play around with this Outlook features and try to remove it you know try to uninstall it try to fix some of these try to break the Outlook try to break the office and play around with this access like I said this may be for other things like you know but since you have access for one year why not practice on it till you really learn this stuff so you go to here and then you basically click on Outlook, change, and then play around with it. And there are options like repair, remove, and this is where you're going to actually learn a lot of stuff on Outlook. Now, if you ask me, can you show me why would it be important for me to learn about Outlook? Just go to indeed.com, type help desk, and put a keyword Outlook. Here's a good example, ability to troubleshoot and resolve email issues, specifically MS Outlook. Remember, a lot of time we work on Microsoft Office to install it for users and things like that, repair and stuff, but it's mostly the Outlook that we get a lot of calls because emails are extremely important to people. Now this, is good, this could be simply in Outlook or this could be also on Office 365 emails and even if someone have Office 365 access, which is a web-based access, they still like to have 2016 because it comes with it. And people will call you from home, from offices, and when you put a new machine out there, these are all real-world calls, tickets, when we call it tickets. So this is what you will be doing in a real-world job. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in another advisory video.